feet. It was good to catch up with everybody around the country, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. And really nothing to do with Sam Mack. It was all no. the others that made it happen. Yeah, so well done, the team. All right, still to come this morning, living a longer and healthier life, how to hit 100 but still feel like you're 40. And the Wiggles return to the stage. They are joining us live. This is Sunrise on 7 and we'll be back in just a moment. We all want to live longer, healthier and happier lives. Professor Luigi Fontana has spent more than 20 years researching the path to longevity. And with his tips, he says it's possible to reach 100 with the health and stamina of a 40-year-old. Professor Luigi Fontana is an international ageing expert. His research helped develop the world-famous 5-2 diet. We can drastically slow down ageing so that, you know, when you are... 100 years old, you still have the physical health and the mental health of a 40 years old. The healthiest people in the world can be found here in Okinawa, Japan. It's home to more 100-year-olds than anywhere else. So what's their secret? <laughs> They're active into old age, live with family and eat a mainly plant-based diet. They were not vegetarians, but the consumption of, of animal products was limited. Once a week, people were very active in their gardens, um, and uh, and then you know there was some sport and uh, and the meditation. Many of these chronic diseases, cardiovascular, diabetes, hypertension, uh, and some form of cancer are preventable just with healthy lifestyle. And Professor Fontana's new book is a science-based guide to longevity, which he breaks down into three pillars, nutrition, exercise, and brain training and mindfulness. When it comes to nutrition, the Mediterranean diet is best. Restricting your calorie intake is also crucial. The tricks to do that are to eat real food, stop when you're 80% full, fast once or twice a week, consume most foods within 8 to 10 hours and eat slowly. Professor Fontana says fasting switches off our ageing pathways. They are cleaning garbage, they are repairing errors in our DNA, they are uh, increasing antioxidant pathways. So the pubs and bars are reopening and we're all keen to go out and have a few drinks. But what are Professor Fontana's tips when it comes to alcohol? Well, the key is moderation. Just a few glasses a week when you're celebrating or catching up with friends. The second pillar is exercise. Professor Fontana says to incorporate endurance training such as walking, jogging or swimming two to three times a week. With weightlifting using your body as resistance and stretches for flexibility and good posture. You can incorporate a small amount of exercise into your routine without being extreme every hour or two even if, if you are in your office you know to take the stairs the final and third pillar is brain training and mindfulness it's important to exercise our brain by learning new things you know by learning a new language by learning a new instrument you don't have to become Mozart and make sure you're getting enough sleep. Like fasting, it increases mental clarity. Deep sleep is important for memory, for cleaning the brain from garbage, and for preventing dementia. There's also one more thing the centenarians of Okinawa have in common, and that's a strong sense of community. That's one of the major problems of our Western society. Our elderly people, they live by themselves. They are missing the connection. So it's extremely important that, you know, we are uh, trying to get as many good friends as possible and to build strong links with our family members because that's very important for our emotional but also our immune and uh, metabolic health. It's fascinating, isn't it? I love this. Yeah, it's a combination of a few things, yeah. isn't it, really? It's a bit of a balance. Yeah. We're all striving for it. Um, Professor Fontana says it's never too late to turn back the clock to give it a go and his book is available right now. Well, coming up